And we're back from the mountains, back from the high country. Oh, it's been an epic week of training here in Colorado. Yes, testing out Nike running gear outerwear. Ooh, the Nike Peg Trail 3s, Nike Pegasus, I should say. Trail 3s over there have lots of thoughts. I have not put the shoes on the scale yet to weigh them. You're gonna get my gut reaction. And yeah, I'm excited to talk about those guys in a minute. And I gotta say thank you, Nike, for knocking on the studio door. If you would have told me 12 months ago that the big dog on the street, Nike, would be knocking on our door saying, hey Seth, we wanna send you running gear to test out and review on your channel, I would I would have laughed. Uh, I mean, it's, it's Nike. You know, it's not, I mean, there's a lot of other companies out there, but I mean, Nike's kind of at the top of the mountain with respect to the size of the company and I would say the volume of, a, of gear that they're creating. So anyway, Nike, thank you for helping me keep the lights on here in the studio by sponsoring this video and sending me running gear. I do appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed or underappreciated. Truly, truly. Okay, let's dive in. We're going to start, crazy enough, with... The socks, that's right, simple, right? Socks, nothing, you know, nothing too special about socks. Well, no, 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 we've got some innovation happening here in these Nike trail running crew socks. I, I, I There's a lot I could talk about. I guess I'll just mention the, what the composition of the socks are. It's 43% nylon, 27% wool, 21% polyester, and 9% spandex. Now, there's a heavier yarn used in the arch for a little more arch support there. That's that yellow fabric there you see on the bottom. But the most exciting innovation of this sock, it's crazy. They're calling it the heel tab, and it's designed to um, provide a little more protection for your Achilles tendon when you're going, especially when you're going, actually, for me, I, I noticed it on the downhill when you're, oh man, I mean, I'm not even going to go there with the ankle flexion, but when your ankle is flexed a little differently, instead of, uh, instead of stretched out, it's kind of compressed your Achilles tendon. So I felt it there, a little extra padding there. But for me, when I was lacing up the first time, this tab allowed me to pull the sock onto my foot so easily. And I don't know about you, but when you get at the end of a trail run or at the beginning, but especially at the end of a trail run, you're tired, your legs are tired, pulling socks on and off that are really difficult, uh, it's just it's just arduous and I don't like it. And so anyway, this heel tab just was so easy to pull the sock on and off. I loved it. Great work there, Nike. And I foresee, oh yeah, also some extra uh, grip added on the bottom of the forefoot. Overall, very impressed. Okay, moving on real quick to the vest. Here we go. This is the Nike Trail Running Vest. And out of all the pieces of gear that Nike sent, this is probably the one that uh, I'm the least excited about. I only because, <laughs> only because, because it's not, I tried it and it didn't do well carrying my filming gear. Okay, you know me and filming, I gotta be filming my runs. That's the only reason. And I think it will do well for especially shorter trail runs when you don't need to carry a ton of water, especially I'm gonna say like the six to 10 mile trail runs. Nothing, I wouldn't really be using this much more than the 10 mile trail runs, but there are four pockets in the front of the vest. Very nice. A big pocket in the back that is uh, lined. So it's, it's, it helps keep your, your gear dry to, you know, when you're sweating. So it's lined in the back for waterproof. Overall, the breathability and the weight, amazing. But again, I just, um, I wouldn't be using this vest for big, epic mountain running. This is more uh, shorter trail running. And here we go. Okay, let me try and hold both of these pieces of outerwear up so you can see them as we're talking about them here. Okay, so we've got the t-shirt here on the, I guess it'd be your left, my right, and then the, the tank over here on my left, your right. And both are featuring this open hole knit fabric, which they've collected data from hundreds of runners just trying to find the areas on our body where uh, we burn extra hot and there's just extra heat created. And they've added the, just, it's hard to see just me holding it up there, but uh, that is one, actually, there we go. Maybe you can see that. That is one of the reasons I decided to buy this guy. Okay, here's the names on your screen. Uh, we've got the Ultra Men's Running Tank on the right, and then the 365 Run uh, Short Sleeve Running Top here on uh, your left, I do believe. So both very impressed, both incredibly lightweight, comfortable, in fact, so comfortable, I would consider racing 
and this guy over here. I really would, and just like really nice breathability. There's the back, just so you can see the cut. Obviously, this is a men's cut, not a ladies' cut, uh, but I just love a nice narrow cut there in the back, just not, you know, the least amount of material as possible. Oh yeah, and by the way, all of these are available down below in case you are interested in picking them up. Ooh, last but not least, I almost forgot to mention this guy, this shirt has a pocket, if I can find it, here in the back, just to carry a basic gel. You can see it there in the back. You know, a basic gel, um, you could probably also add, you know, maybe your headphones or something. If you, if yeah, headphones, even, uh, what else would I add in there? I would, probably wouldn't put a credit card in there in there because it doesn't it doesn't zip. But anyway, there is a pocket there in the back of the t-shirt. Okay, moving on. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is the big dog, everybody. The Nike Windrunner men's trail running jacket with Nike Shield technology. Oh my my. And actually, let's do it right now. I was gonna wait, but question of the day: if you could add one feature to your running jacket what would you add okay after testing this jacket out it got me it got the wheels turning in my head about ideas and features i would add to um all my running jackets like i have a lot of running jackets i have a lot of windbreakers and then i have a lot of puffy jackets this is a great crossover i'm very excited yes you saw my reaction inside the car actually let's let's roll the tape when i open this uh, jacket up when i discovered the mittens clothing or outerwear all right oh my oh 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 look at that okay there's a built-in glove needless to say i was very excited just uh like that innovation with a bit uh, uh yeah a sewn in a built-in mitten also some pretty simple but incredible innovation is this you know this little piece of um so when you have the mittens on and you want to open your pocket you can just you know this this little this little this little piece of material is so key for just zipping and unzipping easily with your gloves on it's just like little things like that it is an adjustable hood um with also a ventilation system in the back here so your head doesn't get too hot uh, you want you want to stay warm, but you also need ventilation so you don't sweat too much. So again, good work there, Nike, adding that ventilation there in the hood. Oh my goodness, it's just amazing. Now, if I had to add one feature to the jacket, I probably would add a little more ventilation somewhere on the sleeve and and maybe even in the uh, in the armpit area. Okay, that was one area where I got a little warm. Uh, yeah, just got a little warm. So I took this out in some pretty epic mountain running, as you're seeing on your screen. But it, it performed like one of the days, and it was snowing up there on the mountain. And this guy did just fine. I, did, I never got wet, never felt like I was going to get wet, like the water was penetrating through the material. Um, so overall, very impressed. And this is going to become a staple. And it's a good colorway too, Nike. Uh, it's going to become a staple here on the channel for me. And uh, I guess one other little feature that I would add is maybe just a little bigger brim here at the top for, um, you know, just to keep the rain off your face maybe a little bit more. But overall, that's my answer to the question of the day. I would add the, a little more ventilation on the arms and then a little more brim here at the front. Very excited about this guy. This guy. Okay, moving on, last but not least. Here we go. Oh, wait, let's leave that guy there. Where's the other one? There we go. It was hiding on the floor. The Nike Pegasus Trail 3. It, this is not my 50 mile full review. This is not even a first impression. I just got to tell you that it is a fully gusseted tongue. Nike, thank you for sending these along. I mean, the durometer you saw yesterday going up and down Pikes Peak, 26 miles, 7,300 feet of vertical gain. The durometer was amazing. My legs felt pretty amazing you know even today like i'm not that crazy beat up or sore um i think i made the right shoe choice for going up and down pikes peak there i'm i'm excited great lockdown my heel was definitely not slipping through the heel pocket at all um you know yeah gosh i would say maybe i don't i'm trying to think of a drawback at this point i mean okay not in a crazy aggressive lug pattern on the bottom so if you're running through really loose grit or dirt or mud like you know it's just not uh, actually commuter you know you could you know decent option i'm gonna say for 2021 for a commuter shoe from pavement and concrete to the trails i'm gonna leave it there 50 mile full review coming very very soon 
on the channel. Okay, there you go, everyone. Once again, we've got the socks, we've got the vest, which again, it's not gonna be part of my arsenal moving forward for running vest, just because I need something with a little more, um, it, that basically gonna hold my camera gear. But I think for shorter trail runs, this running vest from Nike is gonna do decent. And then also, here we go. Um, we got the, uh, the tank over here. We've got the t-shirt over here, both with just incredible breathability and high, high on the comfort score. Really enjoyed that. The jacket, uh, this is definitely my favorite piece of gear that Nike sent along. Thank you again, Nike. And, you know, there's a lot of trail running shoes that I'm testing right now a lot of trail running shoes and so it's going to be difficult to get some of them to 50 miles i guarantee you this guy is going to 50 miles the nike pegasus trail 3 that's how excited i am about it and again they are available down below in the description one more time thank you nike for knocking on the studio door i do it's a little shocking to be uh to be to be uh, in this position at this point. That's all I got to say. All right, everyone, you know, oh yeah, quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, I'm so sorry. Comment of the day from yesterday's vlog. Um, let's see, or a couple days ago, uh, dealing with suffering as runners and trail runners. So this is from Liam. Uh, he said, don't deal with suffering, seek it, or it will seek you. Liam, I like your perspective, your mental approach. It's really good. Like, I think it's brilliant. And frankly, when I was testing out this jacket and some other, the, the other gear, you know, it was rain, it was cold, it was foggy, it was snowing up on, con on the Continental Divide. And I was, you know, having a couple second guesses. Do I want to get out there in these elements? Sure enough, mostly because of this jacket, I was like, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to go seek out a little suffering in the high country. So Liam, you get the comment of the day. All right, everyone, we will toss it to um we'll toss it to the continental divide vlog okay where i test where it was really cold and i really got to test out all of this outerwear boom butter to the bread all right everyone right there right there right there see beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow <laughs>